How's it going everybody? Efficiency. It's not only a big word with a couple F's in it, but it's also a super important one, especially when it comes to pulleys. Efficiency and pulleys go hand in hand. It's what it's all about with pulleys. You want to be as efficient as possible. And some pulleys could be up to 90% efficient. It all depends on what the pulley is made out of. Is there ball bearings in there or how it's constructed? Constructed could make it more efficient. So what does that have to do with climbing and setting up systems? Well, it has a lot to do with it. So today's episode, I'm gonna break down some misconceptions you might have, and I'll set up some systems here in case you, let's say you get into a situation where you need to haul up your second. So let's just hop right into it. Okay, so what we got here is our little line scale. We got our 100 pound climber over here. Mother, why? As you can tell, it ain't easy lifting them up to the top of the climb. You could do this, Josh. You could do this. Ah! Do it for the boys. Do it for the boys. You silly. Ah! Ah! Okay, so as you can see, it's pretty much exactly 100 pounds. And with all my gear on, I am, okay, 140 pounds, almost. Oh wow, I got like 10 pounds of gear. I got 15 pounds of gear on? Man, my boots are heavy. <sighs> okay, so in a perfect world, to get that 100 pounds off the ground, and it goes to this pulley, I have to pull 100 pounds over here to make that go up. And then, just for an extra little side note, that puts 200 pounds on this anchor. That should make sense because I have 200 pounds over here. Oh, sorry, I got 100 pounds over here. Got 100 pounds over here. And we're both yanking on that. So let's see how much force it takes to get through this efficient pulley okay it's coming off the ground a little bit it's coming off the ground a hundred and twenty pounds and it's starting to come off the ground and go up so I'm having to put in if that's a ninety percent efficient I'm having to put an extra 10% work into that 100 pounds to make it go up. That makes sense. So that means that 10% loss of efficiency is going into heat inside this pulley. It's being lost as heat. Okay, now let's see what happens when we set this up in a climbing scenario. Okay, so now, don't mind this, this is just to help me pull on the rope. But we have a grigri up here. So normally, you would be belaying your, your guy who's coming up to you, your climber, your second, and they'd be going through a grigri. So let's see how much force it would take, or how, let's see how much efficiency is lost, rather, pulling through this grigri. This is gonna get really interesting in a minute. I'm already at 120. I'm not, I can't even pull this down. I can't even pull this down. The 100 pounds weighs more than me at this point. So I need to, I don't know what I need to do. I need to, I'm too, I'm not heavy enough. Okay. I gotta, I gotta put my feet up here and push down on the, on the ceiling. Hold on, give me a second. Oh, damn. Ah, okay. All right, that should work. Okay, here we go. 222, 20, 240 pounds. It's starting to come off the ground. It's not even off the ground yet. Ah, my nuts. Okay. 
Okay. Here we go. Three hundred pounds. Three hundred pounds. Whoo! Let's give it another. Let's give it another go. Try to get it go up a little more. Okay. Ah, my nuts. Okay. Here we go. All right. Three, about 300 pounds. 300 pounds I have to pull to get that 100 pound weight up because of all the loss of efficiency through this Grigri, which means that the anchor is now getting 300 plus 100, 400 pounds on the anchor. And <laughs> I'm only, I'm only 130 pounds and that's a hundred pounds. Interesting, right? So you might say build a little pulley, a three to one, which is what most guys will do. So let's see what happens if we build a little three to one here. You know what? I don't want to jump the gun yet because I want to show you what the efficiency loss is on just running through a single beaner. We're not through a Gree Gree or anything like that. Just run through a carabiner. What's the efficiency loss on that? Because remember, it's supposed to be, I'm pulling 100 pounds here, 100 pounds should go up there. But since we're adding friction to the system through sliding on a carabiner, let's see. Eh, okay, that should do it. Okay. All right, here we go. To get it to start pulling down, it's somewhere around 200 something pounds. So, so as you can see from this and also other tests that have been done, a carabiner is gonna give you about 30 to 40% loss in efficiency. It's even greater in just a Grigri and it also depends on what type of rope you're using. This is a static rope. If it's a dynamic rope, some of that energy is being lost into just stretching the rope. Also depends on the thickness of the rope. Or if you add Prusix, there's also friction that could be lost into that. So let me set up a three to one and let me show you something. Okay, look at us. We're so smart. We're gonna set up a three to one real quick. Normally this rescue, instead of the rescue sender, it'd be a Prusik, and then we're gonna set it up through this beaner like this, and then we're gonna pull, and we'll count it. We got one, two, three lines of tension pulling upwards. It's a good way to count and figure out a pulley system if it's not complex, but we're not gonna get into complex pulley systems and things like that. So yeah, I don't wanna just pull up like this though, because damn, that'll hurt my back. So I'm gonna be even smarter. I'm gonna run a nice redirect to this right here. So. Three to one on a hundred pounds would mean in a perfect world, all I gotta do is pull like 30 pounds on here. My climber's coming right up, zippity doo da. Yeah, I still gotta pull three times the rope, but hell, it's a good trade off, right? So let's see how much efficiency loss we have going through this setup like this. Okay, so should be about 30 pounds to get this guy up. Let's see. Not the ground yet. Nice thing is the Grigri does do project pro, progress capturing. 130 pounds. I'm into the negative returns here. I may, at this point, I may as well just be pulling through a, through a beaner or using a Garda hitch or something super inefficient way. So you think you're, you're setting up a three to one and really you're not. So say it's 130 pounds just to pick that guy up. Okay, so I hope this little video cleared up some misconceptions you may have. Not all mechanical advantages are what they seem to be. Yes, we have a theoretical three to one here with a redirect, 
but in, when put into practice, it's in the opposite direction. If you like doing numbers and crunching numbers, you could uh, type down what the, uh, what the actual percentage of losses were with those numbers in this weight. I'd like to see them in the comments. If you like this episode, I'll show you what I bring, but I won't, I won't get into it in this episode for the sake of efficiency. And uh, like and subscribe and comment, and I'll, I'll see you in next week's episode, or maybe I'll come out with what I bring. It's just a couple pieces, and uh, I don't have to get into all this nonsense. So, Josh and Perry, climbing out of here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't like the way it climbed out of this one. It wasn't, it wasn't very efficient. Ah, oof. Oh.